Well, hey, folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back in Old Man in the Land of Grills. We got a lot going on today, folks. Yeah, and you know what we're going to do? We're also going to do a double smoked ham on the PK, on the new PK, folks. Uh, so this is pretty exciting. And we're going to be trying out another one of these uh, electric lighters that uses hot air to light charcoal. You say, come on, really hot air? Well, if you watch Tom Horseman YouTube, you know I've done a couple of these already. So the one on the right there, the one hanging up, which is in the rotation because it works, that's uh, Turbo, and I'll leave the link down below. This Nason one did not work. Now, the people from Nason have contacted me and asked for a second chance and said, hey, you must have got a bad one. Can we send you another one and can we redeem ourselves? And I said, sure. If you want to send me one and show that your product actually worked, send it out. So, But today we're going to be talking about the loof lighter. We're going to try it out and we're going to double smoke a ham all at the same time. Hey, you're going to get a couple things here today. These electric lighters are pretty cool. So 60 seconds is what they claim is that you'll get sparks in 60 seconds. So let's... Uh, We've got some B&B, &B. you know how I love my B&B. &B. In the charcoal basket, you see I've got a couple people, chunks of apple. We're gonna get the stirrer right in the middle, pour the apple around it, put our grate on, and double smoke some ham. Keep on watching. All right, taking a look at it online, you're wondering where it is, it's loof.com, we'll leave the link down below. 70 bucks is what this is going for, it was 100 bucks. It's the increase now. Um, the cord is, it's like 10 foot long. Uh, this thing gets 1,200 feet, uh, 1200 feet it gets 1200 degrees hot um pretty cool so uh, i'll tell you what the i like i said i've got some experience using these i haven't used the looped one yet but what i wanted to show you here is uh that one right there 300 bucks but it's cordless i think that's pretty cool battery powered grill and fire lighter uh 300 bucks so uh and they got a case for it that's 40 bucks uh I can't wait for that to come down in price because I think a lot of people are going to go, mm, I don't want to, if I want to pay 300 bucks uh, for a battery powered grill lighter. Uh, but uh, the one we got here for uh, 70 bucks, uh, okay. Because uh, you eliminate all lighter fluid, you all, uh, your majority of fire starters for a majority of stuff. You can light your fireplace. If you got a barrel type cooker or Kamado, these work very, very nice. So I tell you what, Let's, uh, enough of this. Let's get her, let's see if she really works. Remember, 60 seconds. All right, so before we get her started, they got a little stand there. You can also hang it from there, but when you're done with this, that area right there is very, very hot. So you would put it down on like a concrete surface, let it cool down. They got a switch there. It is not one that uh, when you push it, it just stays on. You got to hold it, but it's, uh, it's not that hard. Uh, and you can see it doesn't uh, make a whole lot of noise. Uh, and like I said, you got the stand back there. And that's about it. So they're saying, let's get down by the uh, by the charcoal here. They're saying to hold it pretty close to charcoal. We're gonna go right in the middle here and uh, wait till you see sparks. And in fact, I tell you what, let's uh, let's get a timer on. All right, got our timer. Let's fire her up. Give a couple seconds to the loft here. Remember, we're looking to see sparks by one minute. Now, I haven't run this prior to this, so I uh, honestly don't know how good the loop is going to be. I think on the turbo, it also said one minute, and it was closer to, uh, look at that, you're seeing sparks already, and we're at 24 seconds. That is, uh, huh, that's pretty impressive. Turbo, I think, it was closer to a minute and a half. But still, a minute and a half, I thought was pretty, pretty doggone good. So there's no doubt that it gets hot, hot, hot. Hot enough to start charcoal, look at that. All right, so there's a minute. You can see what we got going on there. And uh, what I like to do is I like to go in other spots. Careful there, I don't wanna get my, get my phone all full of this. So we'll keep going here and give you a, a look-see. It, it definitely gets things going in definitely a minute. You saw sparks like I did. So let's uh, keep on going here and I'll give you a look-see once uh, we get something going. Yeah, look at that. Four minutes. That's definitely started. Does the loop work? <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty pretty impressive by the loof lighter there, folks. Uh, check them out. Oh, uh, now we're gonna start double smoking some ham. You're gonna get to see everything today. 
All right, folks, I'll give you a look uh, at the setup here on the PK. This is my second PK I've had. I tell you what, when it comes to low and slow and indirect cooking, this thing is a 225 machine. It just dials itself in, loves 225. There's aluminum tub, and the whole thing is aluminum, including the hinges. So you, it'll last forever. So we've got four vents on this, uh, two on the bottom, you know, and two on the top. Our charcoal's over here. So I got that vent, vent closed all, all, that vent is open. The vent above it is closed. And then on this side, the bottom vent is closed. Top vent is open. That gives our smoke, as you can see, and our indirect and our ham is over here. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, really, really nice. Holy cow, is that smoky. Keep on going, give you a look-see. All right, let's take one more look before we pull her off. Oh yeah, look at that, get some nice smoke on there. <laughs> That's gonna be nice, really nice. Charcoal's doing great. That loof lighter, I'll, I'll be honest with you folks, that's the way, that's the way to light charcoal, it really is. All right, you're not gonna believe this. I didn't get you any video of the ham. <laughs> Sorry about that, it tur turned out good. But you know, what we were really doing here today is we were checking out the loof lighter to see if it really worked. And uh, while the fire was burning, yeah, we double smoked a uh, small ham. Ham turned out great. Loof lighter worked great. Folks, uh, you're going to see some more videos on this because I'm going to do a comparison between uh, the three that I have of these type to see which one works the fastest and the best. So hope this was helpful. Thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, folks, you know, in the land of grills, brisket, turkey, and ribs. Oh, man. Going to be good. Thanks for watching, folks.